What's up guys, it's Katie with 3D Printing and Technology. So sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, I've been working on 4 or 5 video projects, which should be coming up soon, but it's been taking a while, so that's why. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a super bridge test on the Tebo Tornado. What that is, is testing to see how long the hot end can extrude without a support. If you understand that kind of, it's basically a bridge you go from one column to another column, and it's going to take some film that costs the other column without supporting it. So, we're going to be doing a Tableau Tornado. I got the simplified 3D settings put up in case you're curious what those are. So not much changed. We changed down a little bit, but not enough to make a big difference. The only big thing we add was coast at the end and map nozzle. Here is the power of printing. So as you can tell, it's what it's going to do. It's going to print these two columns first, and then go all the way across without a support. So hopefully this will work out. So now we're going to preheat the Tebo Tornado and get everything set up. So it's preheating and it's already on the SD card. It's been nice. So right now it's doing the outline for the base of the print. And it's going to be about this length. So we're going to progress some and then show you once it gets further. Okay, so we have the base printed. So the next step it's going to do is finish printing these two columns. And then we'll start the super bridge test.
So it's about halfway done. So the clips you saw a few minutes ago off the iPhone. This lens cannot pick up the small details, it's good. But I'll let it finish for a few minutes. And then show the finished piece. So I can't read. Really get up close with this camera and then if I zoom in can't really focus As you can tell, no overhanging strings or anything. I always think it's done pretty good. So here's the pan spreads. As you can see, it's not much sagging. There's a few small spots right here, but it's stable. There's also a ring type piece on top, so I say it would pass. The only concern is this piece right here and some of the pieces right here that can be fixed in the slicer. But that can be fixed in the slicer, so there you go. A 3D printed super bridge. So I thought it would be a fun video to do to test out some of the tablets when I do these capabilities while I'm working on the hands-on video. So that's going to do it for today's video. Here it is removed from the surface. You can tell the screw on it, but it sits flat. Not much sagging going on. Some of these overhanging pieces right here that needs to be worked on. But other than that, I say it passes. So, yeah. Wait for this video, I want to see the rightest videos first. Make sure to click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Jeez, meet me on